Hello learners, I am teacher Jonathan. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. In grade 4, Science and Technology, we are looking at types of teeth and their functions. In our previous lesson, we embarked on different types of teeth and we said, who can remind us the types of teeth? We start from John, we had incisors, Kamau, we had canine, and Oidira, we had premolars, and John, we had molars, as you can see them on our chart for yesterday. And we said, when we look at them, they don't look the same in shape. Even the roots are also not the same. Some have two, others three, others one. The same way they, are, they look like, even their function is also different. When we look at the incisors, incisors, they are how many in our teeth? We have eight incisors. Four at the front on the lower chin and four on the upper gum. Four on the lower gum, four on the upper gum to make them eight. Now, in our groups, can you identify the teeth? The number of incisors you can see in your friend. They are four at the lower and four on top. So all of them are eight in number. In terms of their function, the first ones we use them for biting, for biting and for cutting. If you want to cut something, you use the front teeth, which we call them incisors. If you want to cut, we use also incisors to cut. When we look at them, in terms of their shape, they have one root, we can see only one root, and also they look flat at the top. So we say they are flat and chisel-like shaped. They are flat and chisel-like. And the final one on incisors, we say they are found at the front part of our mouth. We can also look at the canines. The canine, in their shape, they are sharp pointed here. So that is one character, they are sharp pointed. And how many roots do they have? Jen, how many roots? They have one root, we can see only one root. Now, we say this, the canines are four in number. At this corner, at this corner, one at the corner, one at the corner. So we have two, one this side, the other, the other side, even at the top, the other side and the other side. They are four in number. They have one root. What is their function? They are used for tearing and gripping. If you want to tear a flesh, you will use them. If you want to grip a flesh, you will use the same two, that is canines. And they are sharp and pointed. They are found between the incisors and premolars. Even as you can see, they have been arranged. They are found in between the incisors and premolars. Then the third type of tooth or teeth, we call them premolars. And premolars, how many are they? Premolars, they are eight in number also, are eight in number. How many roots do they have, class? How many roots do they have? How many roots do they have? They have two roots. Have two roots. They have two roots. What is their work? How do you use them to do? What do we use them to do? They are used. Are used. They are used for chewing and crushing. For chewing and crushing food, chewing and crushing food. They are used for chewing and crushing food. They are also found between the molars and canines. Found between molars and canines. Found between molars. Molars and canines. And then the first one, the last one, they have, they have ridges, 
What are ridges? The ridges are called cusps. If you look at their shape at the top here, they have ridges. These ridges, we call them cusps. At the top here, they are not just as flat as the incisor, neither sharp pointed as the canines, but they have ridges. So the, these ridges, we call them cusps. Those are the premolars. Premolars and molars, they look alike. Even the premolar has cusps at the top, they have the ridges, but the difference is they have three roots. They have three roots. So the last one is the molars. Molars. How many molars are there? Molars, they are 12. Are 12 in number. Molars, what is, how many roots do they have? They have three roots. They have three roots. What is their work? What are they used for? They are used for chewing and grinding. Are used for chewing. For chewing and grinding. They are used for chewing and grinding. They are used for chewing and grinding. And the last four out of the twelve will call them wisdom teeth. The last four, the last four premolars, last four premolars, last four molars, sorry, last four molars are called wisdom teeth. They are called wisdom teeth. Why do we call them wisdom teeth? Why do we call them wisdom teeth? Because they grow at the later age, when one is grown and is full of wisdom. So we call them wisdom teeth because they grow when someone is old, when someone is big and he knows good and bad. Those are the four types of teeth that we have and their function. We have said the incisors, their function is for cutting and biting because of their shape. They are shaped in a way that they can bite and they can cut. They are the front teeth in our mouth. Then we have the canines. We have said they are four, one, 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 and one. They are only four. They are sharp pointed for tearing, for tearing. They are used for tearing. They are used for tearing. That is the work of the canines. And they have one root too. Then the premolars, the difference between premolars and the other two, first two canines and incisors, is their shape at the top. They have ridges, we call them cusps. They have two roots. The molars also have cusps. They have three roots. Crushing, crushing and chewing, crushing and grinding. That is the work of the four types of tea that we have. An activity for us. Any question we have? Class, any question for us, class? Anybody with a question? Anybody with a question? When you go home, kindly request your parents to show you the four types of teeth and how they function in their laptops, in their tablets, in their phones. How does these four types of teeth function when they are found, when they are in our mouth? And that marks the end of our lesson. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.